All right, let's take a look at making a baseball. Um, I call this a baseball ring because wherever the stitching goes is where the ring itself would be. But what's interesting about this is that it has a curve going in one direction and has a curve going in the opposite direction as it runs around a ball. So it's quite simple to make. Let's jump into Rhino. I've saved this image. And let's jump into Rhino. And okay, so the first thing you want to do is let's go to the top view and type in picture. Okay, let's bring in the MLB uh, desktop. Open it up, and I'm just going to stick it over there. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees so we can kind of see where our lines need to go on our ball. All right, so if this was going to be a ring, this ball would be the ring finger size. So let's go over to uh, solids and let's pick a sphere starting from zero. Enter. And we want it to be 17. So we want it to be diameter, and 17 would be a ring finger size. And now you can see we need to draw a line that, that goes around this ball. So let's have a look at doing that. So I'm going to go to a ghosted view, and I'm going to draw a circle starting from a zero, enter, and let's pick a size here. We might be wrong. Let's go to 12.5 millimeters. And this will be a guide. So this curve here, this beginning of this curve is the back end of this line here. Okay. Except that this curve, as you can see, starts off the same distance here. But as it goes towards the edge, it curves a little bit more closer to the edge of the ball. So let's go to the arc tool. And I'm going to snap to that point, 6 o'clock point. And then instead of holding shift and keeping exactly the same, I'm not holding shift. And I'm dragging the handle up so I can get it. So I'm looking at the scale distance between there and there and there. It's probably about half, I'd say, somewhere around, somewhere around, somewhere around there, I would say, looks good to me. All right. And then we have to draw the extension of these lines going here. But that's easy because we don't have to worry about this half of the ball. So we're going to go to Curve. Extend curve uh, by line. We're going to grab this curve and we're just going to extend this straight out. We're going to hit enter to repeat the command. Pick the line and extend that end out. And press enter. Okay. Now all we have to do is to um, we're going to project these, this curve we've made now onto our ball. So this curve we don't really need anymore. I'm going to go ahead and delete that so we won't be confused. So I'm going to project. Right now it's just a line. If you look at it, it's just, it's just a flat line running through our ball. So looking from the top view again, make sure you're in the top view. You're going to go to, you're going to pick your line. You're going to go to project. And then you're going to pick the ball and you're going to press enter. And you'll notice a line appears like that. So now you can take this old line and delete it. And now you can see we've got this curve that runs around the ball. Okay, so if we were to hide the ball, and for argument's sake, let's just, this is ugly, but let's say we were to. Okay, I found this on the web for where to hide the ball. Check it out. <laughs> Only me, believe you me. That's what happens when you've got a phone right next to it when you're talking. All right, so I'm just going to pipe this. Enter, enter. 
And there you go. We now have, now there are all sorts of things you can do with this. We can pave this with diamonds. We can, oh, there's so many possibilities to this. But this is what I call my baseball ring. All right. Let's bring back up all again. So that's how you, now if you wanted to actually add stitching onto this ball you'd have to create a stitching like this which is kind of easy uh let's do that quickly so let's go to the right view and i'm just going to create a what would be a stitch game from there holding shift to there and down and I would part that very small radius, say about, I don't know, about there. Okay. And then you would turn this at an angle to match the angle of the stitching. And then you would <coughs> pick this. Let's go to the top view. And I would mirror around that axis All right, and as you can see for stitching this is way too big so let's just scale this smaller so it kind of would match the stitching of an actual ball okay now all you have to do is flow along surface okay so that would be the stitching. So you go to um, transform, array, a longer curve on the surface. Base point would be, base point would be there. Pick the curve on the surface. Select the surface. And let's put in, I don't know, let's put in, 80. Enter. And 80 is a... No, that's, that's okay. You go enter again. Now, let us, uh, let's undo that. That, looks, that sucks. Let's do it once more. Alright, call up the command. Select objects to array. These are them. Your base points. So, the base point is how deep you want it into the ball. I picked the bottom here. That's why I was sticking above the ball. I want the base point to kind of be about the center of there. Okay, then pick the pick the curve, pick the ball, divide, 85, enter, and we are done. Enter again. All right, and that's how you create an actual baseball, but more so um, I'm more interested in the baseball ring. All right. I hope you learned something from this. Thanks.